What's up guys, Crystal5 here, and today we're going to be going over backboard shots in Rocket League. Backboard shots are one of the most common scoring methods in Rocket League. They can range in difficulty and are included in some of the hardest shots in the game. You will see them frequently used in freestyle and in pro games, but as you climb the ranks, you will have to hit harder backboard shots if you want to get past the defender. The ideas and techniques that I'll show you can help you with both easy and harder backboard shots. There are four levels of backboard shots that I will be going over in this video. I will have a custom training pack code that will break down the shots after explaining each level. There are certain mechanics that I recommend being comfortable with for this tutorial. Aerials, double jump aerials, fast aerials, and being able to air roll and have good car control in the air. And if you want me to make a video on any of these, just let me know down in the comments. I also recommend having a lower camera angle, negative five to zero, to help line up the shots. All right, let's get into some of the meat. We're gonna have to go over some basic physics, so let's get into it. It all goes back to 1589. There was some old guy named Galileo and he threw a bunch of stuff off the Leaning Tower of Pisa. He discovered that when he threw two objects off at the same time, they hit the floor at the same time. Some astronauts went to the moon and did this with a hammer and feather, and they came to the same conclusion. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? If two objects move upward at the same speed, then they will have the same parabolic trajectory. You will know this is true if you ever tried to go for an air dribble and didn't notice you had zero boost. You will flop right behind the ball and hit the ground at the same time as the ball. This is one instance of matching the ball's Y movement, which is the core of hitting backboard shots. We can break every shot down in Rocket League to three individual dimensions, X, Y, and Z. Let's say X is side to side, Y is up and down, and Z is forward and back. For example, on this normal shot, the upward movement and the forward movement can be divided to look like this. A ball bouncing up straight and a ball rolling on the floor. These individual dimensions act independently of each other and can be added together to get the arc of the shot. A level one backboard shot is one that only deals with two dimensions. This is when the ball is moving perpendicular to the back wall and your car is behind the ball facing the backboard. When we break this shot down into two dimensions, we can control for the y-axis or the up and down by matching it like we described with Galileo before. When the ball goes up, you wanna try and match its speed or its trajectory on the way up so you will fall with the ball. This is all about limiting variables to make the shot easier. The next you would need to worry about is how close to the ball you are, the z-axis. This is something that's gonna take some practice. Rebound shots will make this easy because the ball will bounce off the back wall, reversing its direction towards your car. The ball hitting the wall doesn't affect the downward movement. It just loses horizontal speed. This goes for any surface that's not your car. The tough part is knowing where you're going to hit the ball. This is determined by how far away your car is from the ball when it bounces off the backboard. The angle you need will increase the closer to the wall you hit the ball. Your car control skills in the air will help you tremendously here. You will want to feather your boost and use air roll to make the angle you need. The first three shots of the custom training pack will help you practice these level one backboard shots. The first one is the most basic as it goes over the top of the net. You want to focus on matching the vertical trajectory first. Double jump aerials and fast aerials will help significantly here. You'll know when you perfectly matched it when you don't need to feather your boost to hit the ball. The next two shots are to the side of the net. This will require hitting the side of the ball to get the angle which is a little more difficult, but all the same rules apply. Like everything in life, this will take practice to get used to. Now we're going to add in a third dimension. A level two backboard shot is when the ball starts on the same side of the field as your car and moves towards the other side while hitting the backboard. We can break this shot up into three dimensions individually, like we did on the level one shot, but I find it easier to think of it as two dimensions we can control for, X and Y, plus the forward and back, or Z dimension. The next two shots of the training pack go over this shot. All the same rules that apply to level one, apply to level two. You will want to visualize the sideways arc of the ball and try to match it. This all comes down to practice. Once you get that arc down, you want to feather your boost and use air roll to hit the ball on the angle you need. Just like in level one, once you can match the arc, all you have to worry about is the forward and back movement. 
Level 3 is significantly harder than the previous levels. Level 3 is when only one dimension can be controlled for, and the other two will have to be either predicted or adjusted for in air. This is when the ball is coming from the opposite side of the field as your car. It's difficult to tell how far away the ball is and when the ball will hit the backboard, but you can control for the vertical movement. This one comes down to practicing a wide variety of shots and getting used to when the ball hits the wall and how much speed it loses when it bounces off the wall. The next four shots go over this. You need to be able to visualize the trajectory of the ball before it leaves the ground. This is so you know where the ball will be when you want to hit it. This takes a lot of practice, so don't be alarmed if you don't get it right away. Level 4 is the hardest of all the shots. This is when you don't control for any of the dimensions and just try to meet the ball on its trajectory as fast as possible. This will take many, many hours of practice and all comes down to knowing where the ball will be. There are no tips I can give you for these except having a mastery of the previous levels. Any shots in the training pack can be done this way, so if you feel up to it, go for it. That's pretty much it for backboard shots. There are more advanced shots that will use these elements like double touches. Corner shots also use the same principles as well. I hope you found this video useful. If you want more content like this, leave a like and subscribe to stay updated when my new vids come out. I'm out. Cheers.